All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out. The prophesy downfall of Babylon the Great. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kar Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, whoever you may be. All right, Shalom. Let's go back. <coughs> Brother Shapaya, GM of Chicago, coming at you again with another little quick lesson through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Shem Shai. And the first lesson is going to be on fasting. All right? Because, you know, the further you get into the truth or the more you get in this faith, your faith literally builds up to the point where you want to sacrifice more, you want to dis uh, discipline your body, and really get in order before the eyes of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. All right? So let me get this. Let me let me start with this. This is uh 1 Corinthians 7 and 5. Alright, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. Yeah, that's 1 Corinthians. This is 1 Corinthians verses 7 and 5. Was it 7 and 5 or was it 2 and 5? Hold on. Let me check. First Corinthians. I could use First Corinthians seven to five through the Spirit. All right. Well, let me just let me just read that. The Spirit had me had it for some reason. All right. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 7 uh, and 5. Defraud ye not one another, except it be for a consent of time, that ye may give yourself unto fasting and prayer, and come again, that Satan tip you not in inconsistency. All right? Now, all those, is, uh, this is between, you know, the man and his wife and so on and so forth. Just in general, fasting and separating yourself. Hey, because, you know, sex is a pleasure. All right, so even when we have the Shabbat and, and things of that nature, it's technically it's a sexual fast, all right? But what are you doing? You're cutting your flesh off from something that really, uh, it really wants, all right? You're, sacrifice, you're sacrificing yourself because you believe and trust in the law, Yahweh Bashim Shai so much. More importantly, you believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai. therefore you believe in the law, statutes, justice, and commandments, all right? That you keep these things. It's called mortify. Hey, Paul said it. Let me get it. Let me get this real quick. Paul said it perfectly. Mortify. All right, so this is uh, Colossians 3 and 5. Mortify, therefore, the members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate, affliction, evil, conspicuous, covetousness, and idolatry. So the Lord said you have to cut yourself off from these things, right? It says mortify uh, the members. What's the members on these earth? What's the members of the flesh? Okay? Matter of fact, let me give you this. Romans 8 and 13. Therefore, brethren, we are not debtors unto the flesh to live after the flesh. All right? For if we live after the flesh, we should die. All right? So we, we, we cut this off. And I'm talking about the, uh, the ideals behind it. All right? All about me uh, uh, putting yourself on the pedestal, pride. All right? Want, want, want things of that nature, man. All right? And wickedness, man. Because this flesh gives into a lot of wickedness. All right, it says, uh, but if through the spirit we do mortify the deeds of this body, we should live. So through the law, statutes, and commandments, we cut our flesh off. This is what we listen to. This is how we live to literally, I'm saying it like that, uh, um, discipline ourselves, man. The sacrifice, the Lord, hey, the scriptures doesn't say make your, uh, yourselves a living sac sacrifice. A daily sacrifice, man. All right, so every day you should be critiquing, correcting, cutting this flesh off, man. Cut this flesh off so much that it's no flesh. That is just spirit. And I, 
I mean that in a physical sense, in a spiritual sense, all right? And not literally cut your damn flesh off, but you know the, the ideal behind it. Cut all this flesh off just so we could receive a new body, man. Just like how you had Ezekiel in the valley of dry bones. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> cut this flesh off so much that it become bone and you just your spirit. And the Lord give us the new body, man. Hey, um, second address two. Starting like verse 40, it said, these are they that took off the mortal clothing and put on the spiritual clothing, the immortal uh, uh, clothing, man. All right? Cutting off that old man and his old deeds, man. All right? Now, I hope brothers, you know, understand that parable. If it sounds too bugged out, you know, basically come out of the flesh and be totally in the spirit. All right? And yes, the flesh does weigh down the spirit, but that's the battle. That's the point of fasting. You've got to suflex your own flesh all right hey and i tell the brother with tazawanya all the time I, I like to stone cold stutter myself because my fucking flesh be out of order sometimes man and i know it you you have to be a spiritual man to know your fucking flaws and what it could uh, uh critique yourself all right uh so let me go back uh, let me hit what king david said right this is psalms <sighs> psalms one on uh I'm going to start with verse 21. But do thou for me, O Yahweh, the Lord, for thou namesake, because thy mercy is good, deliver thou me. For I am poor, I am needy, my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like a shadow when it declineth. All right, hey, if you ever seen the sun down, you know when the shadow declineth, you know, you can't see it no more. But he said, I'm like a shadow which uh, declineth. And I'm tossed up and down as a locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh felleth of fatness. All right? So, hey, best believe when King David was going through his shit, all right, he was going through it. Completely through it, man. When Yahweh Shah was going through his shit, guess what? Going through it, completely through it. What did they do? Fast. All right, you got to make that complete sacrifice to your how about Shemel Shai, man. Because that's the only way you're going to get better if you cut off this flesh. And fasting is very spiritual, man. Hey, me first me first working up, and I'll be honest with you, I, I wasn't no faster. I wasn't. At all. I had to get to that point because, you know, I'm, I work around food. Now, of course, I kept the day of atonement, of course. But uh, just on some personal stuff, you know, I'm, I'm always working around food. I'm, if you ask any brother in the gym in Chicago, I'm a food connoisseur. I, I, I'm a chef. I, I love the art of it, you know. But shit, I, I, you know, that 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 level of faith had to grow, and I understand why we must fast, man. All right, it's very needful for your spirit. Literally, fasting literally feeds your spirit. As odd as that sound, fasting feeds your spirit. Shit, that may be the title. Through the spirit? Yeah. That's gonna be the title. Fasting feeds your spirit. Literally. Alright? Uh I read verse 25. Verse 25. I I become also a reproach unto them when they looked upon me. They shake their heads, man. So we go through our shit. People talk down upon us, all types of shit, man. The heathen, even our own people, man. But guess what? We still supposed to discipline ourselves. And when Job was going through that shit, he would say, what? I'm going to keep my integrity. I'm still going to praise you how about Shimei on Shai. That's what it was. The water, the Lord. This was the scripture I was supposed to uh, start off with. What was it? Hold on. It's in the other lesson. I could tie it in, but I, I'll save it for the other, the other lesson. So, um, with that, I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kar Kodash, double honor to the other apostles of great millstone, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Abad, Babal.